Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Acer Aspire C27. In this video here, I'll be doing a teardown, showing you on how to um, remove or replace the M.2 drive, maybe upgrade um, your RAM or your hard drive, uh, maybe change out the speaker, or maybe change out the motherboard. So in this video, I'll be explaining a step-by-step -step and show you how to do that those process. Okay, so if you watch my other video um, regarding about the upgrading the regular 512, sorry, upgrading the 512 M.2 to a larger drive. So on my other video, I used the Acer, the same model of this, and I, I did the cloning process. And after the cloning into this new one terabyte, and right now I'll be installing this one terabyte in this video here. So uh, it's kind of like a continue video on my previous one. Uh, but for those of you who just want to watch on how to do, um, you know, take things apart, and this is the video for you. All right. So um, before I do that, I have a small favor to ask. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. I like to make more of this type of repair video for you and so um, your support is very appreciated and thank you for watching the video uh, the first thing I need to do is to remove the stand as you can see that this is the stand right here um, you need a quarter so this quarter here is actually uh, to turn and remove this stand um, sorry let me redo it again. So you, you actually you do not need to remove this stand right here because um, we're going to remove the base entirely. So when we remove the base and this plastic cover can just come out in one piece together. Rather than I remove the stand right here, then I have to use the plastic to run along the shaft. So I'm just going to remove this entire stand then the plastic will just come out without any problem. Now I have this electric uh, electronic screwdriver. Um, to me, I feel like it is very useful because I do a lot of repair in a day rather than using the regular screwdriver. Having an electric screwdriver is a lot easier. So while I'm removing the screws, while I'm removing the screws, my hand is holding onto that stand so that it doesn't fall. So now once you have that, you can just slide it out. The entire stand will just come out without any problem. Now make sure you save the two screws and put them on the side and do not lose that screw. Okay, at this point here, um, so if you tilt the computer a little bit in the angle, you can actually see that there are seven screws the silver seven screws are all attached at the bottom of your base here. Okay, so you actually need to remove all the seven screw to get this plastic cover out. Sorry about the, uh, the angle on the camera. I'm not able to capture the entire screen. Uh, this is a 27 inch, so the, the angle on the camera, I'm not able to capture everything. But you get the point, there are seven silver screws. Go ahead and remove all of them. Alright, once you have all the seven screws removed, the next thing I need to do is to make sure that um, we have to remove this plastic cover. Okay, so I have this prying tool and this prying tool, I try to stuck underneath in between them. Okay, once I have it in that, you can just kind of wiggle and lift it up. So you might have, you might hear some cracking noise to that. That is normal. It's just that the plastic, uh, it just trying to break off from this metal part right here. Now, once the 
back cover is removed you can actually see your entire computer here uh, I'll do some explanation here so this is your RAM the DDR4 uh, original it comes with 12 and one is 8 and one is 4 so if you want to upgrade to 16 8 and 8 you can do so you can just use the two finger uh, uh, the, your two thumb the and push it that silver clipper to to uh, um, uh, to your left and to your right so like pushing away from each other and the RAM will just pop up at about 45 degree angle and you can slide the RAM out towards the body and if you want to upgrade the RAM this is how you're going to do it you can do 8 by 8 or maybe uh, 16 by 16 okay now this is your entire motherboard the motherboard is just one piece like this it's not really big uh, the CPU and the GPU are soldered onto the motherboard so if you're going to ask me, can I upgrade my graphics card or can I upgrade my CPU, the answer is no. You cannot upgrade uh, the CPU and the graphics card. They are all soldered onto the motherboard. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I need to remove the uh, M.2 drive. Uh, like I said on the video, I am upgrading the 512 uh, to 1 terabyte. So if you're running out of space on your... If you're running out of space on your hard drive and you need a larger one, uh, you might want to consider upgrading the M.2. I have a video on how to do the cloning process, so you might want to watch that. I'll have it in the description below. Uh, that way, you know, you, you're not losing your Windows, your program, or any of the data. So everything from here gets cloned over to this uh, one terabyte. Now, as you can see, there's this thermal pad. This thermal pad is is underneath the uh, the M.2 uh, I'll be transferring over to the new one so let me go ahead and pry it up okay so let me see let me connect here at the bottom part here and this one on the front this way it builds the heat so right here Okay, so I have the thermal pad transfer over. And just gonna come back and clean the rest after. All right, so now let me go ahead and install this. Just gonna slide it in and then press it down. Make sure I put that screw back on. All right, so um, the next step, if you're gonna ask me, um, how am I going to, let's see, change the speaker. So if you have like a muffled sound to your, on your computer, you hear that static noise, uh, here's how you're gonna change your speaker. So this is the right speaker, R stands for right, the two screws that's holding onto it. Once you remove the two screws, and you can see the speaker is exposed, follow the the cable and this is the connector so slide the connector to your right i'm using my fingernail and push it to my right and that's how you disconnect the uh, the speaker okay and um let's see here so if you want to do the same for the left speaker uh it's probably they go underneath somewhere around here so yep it's is underneath this fan right here uh, it's the same concept, remove the two screws and then follow that cable right here. You see that red and black cable? Okay, and then just slide it, that cable to your left and that's how you disconnect it. Let me just put this one back on. Um, okay, so let's see what else can I do for you here. Um, this one right here is actually the uh, LCD screen and this is your webcam. So to remove it, just slide it down and this thing as well. So um, you know what, 
I, I gotta apologize I'm not going to um, remove the motherboard just to show you because to me it looks like the motherboard is very straightforward if you can get to if you can you know get here so far um, I'm pretty sure you're tech enough to to change out the motherboard um, let me answer the question that possible people might have here all right so if you're gonna ask me can I have the secondary hard drive uh, the answer is yes so if you are going to um, you know if you're going to say I need to have a D drive a secondary drive uh, this is where you're going to install it okay so this slot right here allows you to install a secondary drive however I do not see the bracket that's hold on to this one so it's kind of flimsy right so what you can do is you probably need to get one of this like double-sided tape okay and probably tape it onto the hard drive I know this is not the right way to do it I'm not sure why Acer did not provide you that tray uh, it looks like there's the mounting bracket here for the screw to go in but I do not see the tray okay so I guess another way to do it is to install and kind of tape it down double-sided tape and hopefully that holds the uh, the hard drive now um, what else are I going to say so you're going to have problem with let's just say you crack the monitor screen and you need to do a replacement uh, to me it feels like the monitor screen is actually one big piece together the Acer probably have somebody to uh, build them for that and to me it looks like this is the model here uh, TPM270 WF1 uh, this is the model for your LCD screen now if you insist to change the LCD screen uh, the way I look at it is you probably would have to transfer everything like remove all this motherboard and the, and the stand, standing bracket remove all this assuming this is your new screen you bring the new screen here and then you install back onto it um, that's what it looks like to me it doesn't seem like this is uh, re removable or replaceable you have to buy exact same model from Acer or somebody who sell them as a used screen uh, then you can transfer all this over to that um, the CPU fan uh, is easy to replace it looks like you just got to unscrew the three screws here and then disconnect the connector and then just find a replacement for the fan um, other than that I think uh, it's very straightforward this computer is very basic uh, I don't think it's you know I did explain it uh, run a bench test it doesn't seem like it's good for the gaming purpose but if you're gonna use it like day in and day out for your you know emails and uh, social media and you know like your office word excel powerpoint I think this is okay to do that um, other than that probably is very limited uh, so yeah so that's my <laughs> that's my advice um, but you know uh, everything is got to stay within your budget if you feel comfortable spending more money to it maybe buy a better one but if this is what you can get uh, this is what they have in the market so be it okay I'm not saying this is a bad model I'm just saying that uh, this is the best of, of, of the price you paid for and what this computer can do for you alright so um, this is uh, pretty much not a complete teardown but at least hopefully my explanation helps you uh, to point you to the right direction so um, again um, like please like the the video subscribe the channel and i appreciate you for watching the video until next time take care